When you pull up to the gas station, you're often faced with that choice, 91 or 93 octane. It seems like a small difference, but for some, it feels as if the fate of their car's engine hangs in the balance. So, is there a big difference between 91 and 93 octane? Well, it's not as straightforward as you might think. Octane ratings measure a fuel's ability to resist knocking or pinging during combustion, caused by the air-fuel mixture detonating prematurely in the engine. Higher octane fuels resist this premature ignition better than lower octane fuels. If you're driving a car that specifically requires premium fuel, it's because the engine is designed to operate on the higher octane it provides. These engines are often designed with higher compression ratios, or are turbocharged, both of which can benefit from or require the use of higher octane petrol. The logic is simple. Using the octane rating recommended by your vehicle's manufacturer helps ensure you're getting the performance and fuel efficiency the engine was designed to deliver. Now, onto the heart of the matter. Is there a big difference between 91 and 93 octane? The difference, while seemingly minor, can be significant for certain engines. For a car that requires premium fuel, using 93 octane over 91 can offer a slight improvement in performance and efficiency. This is because the higher octane fuel provides slightly better resistance to knock, allowing the engine to operate as optimally as the engineers intended. However, for the average vehicle that doesn't specify the need for high octane fuel, choosing 93 over 91 might not yield a noticeable difference. Most modern engines are equipped with knock sensors that adjust the engine's operation to prevent knocking, thus allowing a wide variety of vehicles to run safely on lower octane fuels without damage. Living in Portland, Oregon, where environmental consciousness is as much a part of the city's fabric as the rain, you might also consider the environmental impact of your fuel choice. Higher octane fuel often means a cleaner burn, resulting in slightly fewer emissions. However, if your car doesn't require it, the difference in environmental impact might not justify the cost. So the bottom line is, if your car calls for premium fuel, sticking with the recommended octane rating, be it 91 or 93, is the safest bet for maintaining your car's performance and longevity. Going from 91 to 93 can bring about a small boost if your car is designed to leverage it. But for most vehicles, especially those without a high compression engine or turbocharger, sticking with what your manual recommends, whether that's regular or premium, is the wisest choice. It's always about finding that sweet spot between adhering to your vehicle's needs and making practical choices at the pump. Just like opting for a rain jacket over an umbrella in Portland, it's all about what fits the scenario best.